It's been said that car designers in the last century focused too much on appearance, so much so that they actually designed cars backward. The idea is that the front end of today's cars would be more aerodynamic if it were shaped like the rear. To test this theory, Adams started with a scale model for aerodynamic testing. The red zones in the airflow simulation showed low-pressure areas, meaning the more those areas resisted the wind, the greater the drag on the vehicle. When the model was flipped around, the test results came out nearly identical. But that alone wasn't enough to draw any solid conclusions. So they headed to NASA for a wind tunnel test. Although the surface of the car didn't seem to react much, it was actually being blasted by winds at 100 miles per hour. The drag force on the front end measured 0.34 pounds. When the car was flipped backward, the drag on the rear was slightly higher than the front, suggesting that modern car designs are already quite aerodynamic. Still, this was a small-scale test. To take things further, Adam decided to test a real car. He bought a 1970s sports car and ran three sets of performance tests to collect baseline data. Then, they completely flipped the car's body design, turning the front into the back and vice versa, and repeated the same tests to compare the results. But they didn't stop there. They also planned a head-to-head -head race between two identical models, one with its original design and one with the reversed body, to see which version was truly more aerodynamic. 